pull out and pass you if you're in a car. One of the big reasons is, um, is the airflow around that vehicle makes it really unpleasant on a motorbike. Yeah, a couple of bikers there. We're sort of moving into that, that sort of season here with spring just about to happen next week. It's the beginning of spring. And um, all the motorbikes will be out as we head into summer. And there's loads of them in this area. It's fantastic. So here we are pulling into Whanganui. This is called the, um, the Whanganui Metropolitan Motorway and um, used to be considered the world's shortest motorway. There used to be a sign just here at the beginning of the bridge saying motorway begins. And um, just up here, just before the roundabout, is where the motorway ends. So it's almost the motorway for the sake of being a motorway. So yeah, this is the Wanganui Metropolitan Motorway and we come into a 50k area right here again, so that's that. Um, yeah, so here we are back in Wanganui. So we've been from Wanganui over to Fielding and then just north of Fielding is Cheltenham, which is where I started the camera and then you veer off to the right to go to, um, well, straight ahead actually, to go to Kimbolton, but we, we turn down State Highway 54 to the left, um, out to Vinegar Hill, where we joined on to State Highway 1 again, and came back, but we bypassed Martin, we took some of the B roads, and went around Martin, and then back onto State Highway 3, which um, brings you back here to Wanganui. Yeah, guys on cruisers won't give you the wave unless you're on a cruiser, but they'll, some of them will give you the nod. We're all bikers, we're all out there doing it. I've considered going to a cruiser at some point because this is a Sport Tourer. It's a CBR 1000F. And um, if you want to see videos on these things going fast, have a look on YouTube. There was one there a while back of one of these modified doing 310 kilometers an hour so YouTube's full of that sort of thing if that's what you're interested in but you know I'm going on 48 years old and um, actually I used to ride one of these years ago from the Wairapa into Wellington every day over the Rimutakas for about three years and what I found is that um, people would sit right on your right on your jack seat there trying to push you to go faster because you look like you should be going faster but people on cruisers if they're cruising they look like they're doing what they should be doing so people just leave them alone to to cruise so sort of wondering if I might go that way my wife is um, interested in getting a cruiser she's wanting to get her license um, she's interested in going the cruiser way so I might end up going that way. Um, get a bit of a sore wrist too on these um, sport tours because you spend a long time leaning forward. Now you're not supposed to put your your weight on your wrists, but you know you just you just do. So there's our house there. Looks like a spaceship. Yeah, I've done all the blurry out number plate thing in the past, but you know, you get out on the road and every every car's got one, so what's the point blurring it out? 